Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neowin. Today we're unboxing the Honor View 10. So, um, alright, so a little bit of background on this phone here. So, Honor is a brand that's produced by Huawei, and um, it's pretty much a completely separate brand. So, you don't want to call it the Huawei Honor View 10, it's just the Honor View 10. But, Honor's really about, um, it's about um, appealing to younger people um, and a lot of value for, for what you're paying. So, like you can see right here, I have the, the Honor 7X. This phone has a 1080p 18x9 display, narrow bezels on the side. It's a pretty sweet device, but it only costs $200. Off contract, no, no payment plans or anything. $200 for this phone. Fingerprint sensor on the back, dual cameras. It's pretty nice for 200 bucks. Okay, and that was launched kind of around the uh, around the same time as the View 10, and that's um, we have a review on on NeoWin for that right now. So over here I have the Mate 10 Pro. Now this is a Huawei phone. This phone costs seven hundred and ninety nine dollars, um, and the thing is, the Honor View 10 is almost completely similar in terms of specs to the to the Mate 10. So. But it's $300 cheaper. It comes in at $499. It has the Kirin 970 processor, which has uh, what they're calling a neural processing unit. And what that allows you to do is the camera can actually see what it's looking at. So um, if you have it pointed at your dog, it'll adjust the settings accordingly to take the best picture of your dog that it can. And the same thing with flowers, plants, um, the sky, you know, uh, landscapes, all, all kinds of stuff like that. And it could just automatically do that. Um, it can see how you use your phone and adjust battery performance accordingly, right? So let's get this open. It comes in black and blue in the United States. And here we go. They sent the blue one, which you could probably tell by the blue box. So we can see, if we look at the phone, that it looks very similar to the Honor 7X, um, just in terms of general design. Here we go, right? See, it's, it's very, very similar in terms of the design but uh, the fingerprint sensor is not on the back the fingerprint sensor is on the front which um, that's really something that comes down to preference so but you can see that it's pretty much the same 18 by 9 display 1080p comes in at 5.99 inches okay and that comes along with uh, 6 gigs of RAM 128 gigabytes of storage so you're getting a lot um, for $500 you are getting quite a bit and Again, $300 cheaper than the Mate 10, which is kind of uh, amazing because there are some small differences. The camera is different. Uh, Huawei is known for using Leica cam cameras on their phones. So this one does not have the Leica camera. Um, the front camera is 13 megapixels. The rear camera is a dual uh, 16 megapixel and 20 megapixel. So before we set this up, let's just take a quick look at what else is in the box. Okay, SIM pin, and of course we have our charger, right, so it's a USB Type-A adapter and a Type-A to Type-C cable, which is nice because um, the Honor 7X is actually micro USB, and micro USB is just, I feel like nothing should use micro USB anymore, it's just, it's terrible. Okay, so we're going to set this up, you can see that, that, um, it is the Huawei skin, EMUI. This comes with EMUI um, 8.1 and Android Oreo. They actually changed the version number of of EMUI. It, it, it jumped from like 5.1 and now it's at 8.1 and it's meant to align with the version of Android that it coincides with. One thing that I don't like is that um, if I, we'll say I wanna, I wanna set this up and we're doing this through Google and since it uses such a thick uh, Android skin. A lot of these options are just going to come up again. And um, hmm, let's, uh, whatever the most recent one was, I don't even know what those devices are. Okay, so we're just going to choose to restore everything. Okay, so this is going to work for a little while. And um, EMUI, it does, it's, a very, it's a very thick Android skin, and you have to be okay with that because... A lot of people are into stock Android these days. I I don't really get that that craze. I don't see what's so amazing about the way Google intended it to be. Um, I think Huawei does a great job on the software, 
But you have to be okay with the fact that, that it's not going to feel like a traditional Android device. So we'll come back to this and we can finish setting it up. Okay, so that just finished running and now it's it's asking me pretty much the same question but under Huawei's skin. So we're going to say set it as a new device even though it is going to restore everything that it was supposed to. We're going to set fingerprint ID because Huawei has amazing fingerprint sensors. Although it does say it may be less secure than a complex pattern or a strong pin. That's probably because... Well, let's just set this up. It's probably because someone could could use it while you're sleeping, you know? Um, which is everyone's argument about why why fingerprint sensors aren't secure, but that's fine. I don't think... Um, I'm not anticipating anybody using my phone while I'm sleeping, and, you know, if that was something I was worried about, I might be sleeping with the wrong person, right? So we're not going to set up face unlock right now. Okay, checking once again. Okay, so we have EMUI get started. Are we actually in? Yeah, we are. Okay, so just an example. If I pull up the camera here, swipe right to select the camera mode. Next, enable. If I, so if I pointed at the plant there, right, this might work. See, now you get that little icon that shows up right there and uh, that indicates that you're pointing at a plant. There's like 13 settings or so and um, it's it. new ones have to come through a software update. It's not just going to learn new things, which would be nice if it did. Okay, so we can see that there there are a lot of things that, that are different from stock Android. You can see there are a lot of uh, different apps. Settings looks completely different. You can see that um, it's EMUI 8.1 and Android 8.1, which is great. 6 gigs of RAM, Kirin 970. All right, and um, that's about it. I mean, we have our USB Type-C port on the bottom here, uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, speaker, um, power button over here, volume rocker, and I believe the SIM slot should be over here. The body is very much similar to, to what you get from the Honor 7X, other than the, the fingerprint sensor placement. I mean, the cameras up here, the dual lens configuration, the antenna lines, all that's pretty much the same. I love the blue. Um, I love the, the colors that they're using in these aluminum bodies. The red, the red Honor 7X is great. They also sent me the black one, and um, these are nice looking devices. Uh, I can't wait to use this some more because I really enjoyed the Mate 10 Pro. I thought it was an awesome phone, and I love that they're bringing this in at a, a price point for $300 lower. I am curious about the camera though because those Leica cameras that you get on the Huawei phones are awesome, especially the monochrome one, and um, all that like you can take a black and white picture with your phone but if you use that monochrome sensor on the Leica phones um, it's really incredible so I'm, I'm curious to see how this holds up because I mean $300 is a big difference for different cameras it's I mean it feels like like it's it's worth it so um, I'll get back um, a few weeks I'll have a review anyway guys that's it I'm Richard Neowin have a great night